folks say life is a song. For some, that means a ditty. For others, a dirge. But at the holiday season, we all sing a carol, a Christmas carol. Sorry, Mr. Scrooge. Damn it! Mr. Scrooge. Excuse me, sir. A Merry Christmas, Uncle Ebenezer. Bah, humbug. <laughs> Christmas a humbug? Well, you don't mean that. I do. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry? You're poor enough. What right have you to be grumpy? You're rich enough. Yes, rich enough to realize Christmas is a time for fools, finding themselves a year older and not an hour richer. If I had my way, every numbskull who goes about spouting Merry Christmas should be stuffed like a turkey buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Uncle? Nephew? Keep Christmas in your own way, and let me keep it in mine. Keep it? But you don't keep it. No, I keep busy. 
especially at this wasteful time of year. Wasteful? Well, I've always thought of Christmas as a rewarding time. Even putting aside its sacred name and origin, Christmas is still a joyous, wonderful season. The only time in the whole year when folks seem to open their hearts and treat strangers as friends, and therefore, Uncle, though it's never put silver in my pocket, I say God bless Christmas. Give us a smile, Uncle. Tomorrow is Christmas. Good afternoon. Have dinner with my wife and me. Good afternoon. Very well. If you want to be miserable, fine. But I'll hang on to my holiday spirit to the last. So Merry Christmas, Uncle. Good afternoon. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Good afternoon. Scrooge and Marley's, yes? Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley died seven years ago this very night. Oh, dear. However, we have no doubt your generosity matches that of your deceased partners, hmm? Here you are, Mr. Scrooge. That's only five lumps. Where's the sixth? The snow, sir. Back to work. Coal's not cheap, you know. Uh, generosity, yes. Uh, at this festive season, it is compassionate to provide for the poor and destitute who suffer greatly at this time. What shall I put you down for? <laughs> Nothing. Ah, you wish to be anonymous. I wish to be left alone. I don't make merry at Christmas, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. But surely, sir... I do my share. My taxes pay for the prisons and workhouses, and those who are badly off should go there. But many would rather die. Then they should do it and decrease the surplus population. But, sir, thousands are in need of simple comforts. <laughs> it's not my business, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Uh, but, Mr. Scrooge... Damn it! Son, Tim. Oh, you have a family? Hm? He's awfully um, tiny. Yes, yes, he is. He's our tiny Tim. <clears throat> You'll want all day off tomorrow, I suppose. If it's convenient, sir. It's not convenient, <laughs> and it's not fair. If I docked you for it, you'd feel cheated, I imagine. And yet, you don't think me cheated when I pay a day's wages for no work. It is only once a year, sir. A poor excuse for picking my pocket every December the 25th. But I suppose I've got to give you the whole day. <laughs> Just be here an hour earlier next morning. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And a very merry... Um... Merry evening, sir. Come, son. <laughs> he likes me, father. Oh? 
damn it! Ooh. Get the light, you liability. <laughs> Scraps for my dog and be quick about it. Every day the same thing. Cheapest meal on a menu. When he could afford a feast every night, the old skinflint. Oh well, can't let him ruin our holiday now, can we? <laughs> Christmas time at last, revelers prepare. Can't you feel a blast of fresh excitement in the air? The wreath is out of hock, holly's in the hall. But take some stock before you pin that stocking to the wall. Random acts of kindness, random acts of kindness. Have you spread your share of Merry Christmas cheer? Perform an act of kindness? Random acts of kindness, more than once a year. For example, offering a scone. Springing for the nog. Throwing out the bone to throw a banquet for the dog. Freshening a drink. Sharing what you earned. Giving without thinking that it's got to be returned. Random acts of kindness. Random acts of kindness. Preferably performed with anonymity. It's your Yuletide duty. Commit some senseless beauty. Pop some off on me. Love makes giving so pleasing. Tis the seasonal why. Still the biggest trick is getting it to stick on the Christmas time. Oh, bah! But give up on my bob. He'll go buy a pint of ale. Then he'll borrow, beg, and rob you, and at best end up in jail. When he's been released, who'll come breaking through your door? That's what good your beastly brand of charity is for. Random acts of kindness, random acts. You'll find no good deed goes unpunished and no crook goes straight. Random sacrifices. Falsely playing ice is man's most hateful trait. See the Christmas snow falling. Don't it target your heart. While you're in disguise, better change your wise. Now's the time to start. Random acts of kindness, random acts of kindness. Just in case it's you who ends up on the ground. Time we went at random, find the acts at random. Make the world go wrong. Waitress, here's the only tip you'll be getting from me. Find a new chef. Your hash isn't fit for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
Lisa. Stupid dog. It's nothing. <laughs> Ugh, old fool, you're acting like a dunderhead. No such thing as spirits. In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. I heard you had no heart, Jacob. Now I see it's true. So you believe in me, then? I don't. You're probably just some undigested food. Some bad beef or a blob of mustard. There's more of gravy than of grave about you. <laughs> Mercy! Why do you haunt me? I've come to warn you, to spare you my fate. You. All this hardware, 
I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link. This link was when I evicted those orphans. And here's when I cheated old Mrs. Avery. And your chain was this long and heavy seven years ago. You should see it now, Ebenezer. I can't see a chain. I can. And it is a monstrous one. It is our human duty to walk among our neighbors and do good. If we fail to do this while we are alive, then we're doomed to do it after death. Look! See that poor woman? It's not my business. Mankind is our business. Please, take this for the baby. By the time we realize we must help one another, it is usually too late. When we're dead, we can no longer do any earthly good. But I have good news. Tonight, on the anniversary of my death, I've been given the opportunity to warn you, Scrooge. Perhaps. You can escape my fate. Really? You simply visit me and then everything's all right? Almost. You'll also be haunted by three spirits. No deal. Without their visits, you cannot hope to break your chains. I don't care, Jacob. I like chains. No ghost, you hear me? Expect the first when the bell tolls one. No ghosts! Bah! Humbug! First spirit Jacob talked about? Spot on, Governor. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Follow me. It's for your own good. <sighs> A night of unbroken sleep would be better for my good than this. <laughs> Shovel your stump, Scrooge! <gasps> I'm not made of mist and moonlight like you. I'll fall. No. Run, 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 David, run, 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 I was a boy here. I got that. This year was your boarding school. Do you recollect the way? Recollect it? I could walk it blindfold.
chalk, dust, and wood smoke. But shadows of the things that have been. They can't see of us. Oh, of course. Well, why didn't you think of that, you twit? Mm -hmm. A small boy, all alone, neglected by his friends, rejected by the father what left him here. It is me. Poor forgotten boy. He, I, was never invited home for the holidays. Alone. Stranded. I wish. What's the matter, eh? There was a boy at my door last night. Perhaps I should have given him something. That's all. You did, Gov. A fistful of coal! <laughs> It's Robinson Crusoe. Yes. <laughs> I remember this day. He was my favorite storybook character. Blimey, you've been visited by spirits before. Don't mock me, Shade. the cat. Once again I'm all alone. But all I need are my shadows to show them I'm fine on my own. I'll slay the beast. I'll bring the feast I'll throw a carnival with 40 clowns at least I'll ride a whale I'll find the grail I'll be a matador What's more, I'll live to tell the tale Like Arthur on his throne I won't be alone Once I pull the sword out of the stone Not sad at all Up on the wall See all my friends when shadows fall But then as the firelight dies I can see with my own eyes No friends at all When shadows fall Let's see another Christmas Bah Humbug! So many lonely Christmases. Right, but not this one. <laughs> Eddie! Fan! Fan! My little sister. I've come to bring you home, dear brother. Home? But father... Oh, go on, father. I'm inviting you. We're family, and I told father I want you at home. Good old Fan. Lovely fan. Such a large heart for such a tiny creature. She died a woman and had, as I recall, a child. Yes, my nephew, Fred. Goodbye, you wretched old school! Fan was right. We had a happy Christmas in spite of father. 
Oh, I wish she were alive to invite me home again. But she is, through her son, Fred. Don't you see? Her goodness lives in him. Yes. Oh, I wish... <laughs> bah! Never mind. Let us visit another kind soul. Why, it's old Fezziwig, my boss. Bust my buttons, he hasn't changed a bit. Ho, ho there, Ebenezer. Dick, no more work tonight. No, no, it's, it's Christmas Eve, my boys. Clear away and let's have lots of room here. <laughs> I was an apprentice here. A good one, too. Old Fezziwig treated me like his own son. Good old Fezziwig. Show me a better boss than that, eh? <laughs> so he spent a bit of cash on some song and dance. Where's your prize in that, eh? Bit of coin? You couldn't buy that much happiness with a fortune. He had the power to render us happy or sad, to make our jobs a pleasure or a drudgery. Uh, he must have set quite an example for you. Now what? Oh, nothing particular. I'd like to be able to say something to Bob Cratchit just now. That's all. Come. My time grows short. It's Belle. Good news, my darling. Guess what I've got. <laughs> Give me a hint, Ebenezer. It's small and round and gold, and it holds the future. A ring? No, the profits from my first business venture. Isn't it wonderful, Belle? Now I'm sure to be a success. Stop talking, you mindless pup. <sighs> Belle? Now we've reached this bridge together And I hope we'll soon be crossed So don't put a price on paradise Or our paradise is lost Any bridge leads to disaster If its moorings aren't secure Heaven won't provide on the bridge's dark side. It's our wealth which will endure. I'll cross this bridge with you. I'll cross this bridge with you. Show me the man that I once knew. And I'll cross this bridge with you. No one lives on hopes and wishes. Love alone grows dry and cold. But the sun will shine 
on these bright dreams of mine as upon this coin of gold. Can I cross this bridge with you? I'm who I Your am. words leave me split in two. What else can I do? Has love begun or is it through? Should I cross this bridge with you? Life's a rocky and an uncertain course to chart. Speak love so love can start. Why not start? be safe and smart? Where's your passion? Where's your heart? Now, now it's time, time to say goodbye, goodbye to frivolous dreams we Can't we cross this bridge together? Cross this bridge alone. Go after her, you fool! Stop. Don't show me any more. I told you, these are the shadows of the things that have passed. Don't go blaming me for your choices. Why are you torturing me like this, spirit? Leave me alone, please. Take me back home. Haunt me no more. Spirit? A bad dream, was it? <laughs> Crying in your sleep, thick-headed old ninny. I'm not going to take it anymore. You hear me, spirits? No more! I'm sure I haven't, madam. You bet your press bed, nor have you entertained any of my earlier family members. I'm afraid not. Uh, do you have many sisters, a spirit? <laughs> Nearly 1,900. Come, touch my robe. Uh, um, after that last spirit, uh, I'd rather not. Oh, oh no! This is not a multiple choice, Mr. Crumpy Face. Come! But my dog gets lonely. He needs me to stay with him. <gasps> See? 
Oh, he seems contented enough to me. Come along! I've got to get a lock for that window. Happy Christmas! Happy me! Happy everyone! <laughs> Happy humbug. What? Backsliding already? Well, it's just that why should I be accused of being selfish when... Yes? When Christmas is a selfish holiday. What? <laughs> so, tell me, Scrooge, was that selfish? Yes. You only saved me so you can annoy me further. <laughs> what a tough old walnut you are. All right, then. Let's see if I can convince you otherwise. What a wonderful Christmas day. This is the best Christmas ever. Martha, my dear, what's keeping your father and brother? Here they are now. Spirit, who are these people? What do they have to do with me? Just hold your horses. Good evening, Mrs. Cratchit, and all you little Cratchits. Hello, Hello Papa. Hello, Father. Hello, Father. The Cratchits? I had no idea Bob lived so humbly. Well, what did you think with the wage you pay him? How was he in church? As good as gold. No, better. What? There's something better than gold? Oh, my that looks delicious. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> want some company? So, do you want to talk company? or eat? Eat! <laughs> I give you the delighter of our stomachs, Mrs. Cratchit. Here, here! That was delicious! And I give you the founder of our feast, Mr. Scrooge. Founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon. Please, dear, it's Christmas time at last. Grievances or not, it's been Mr. Scrooge who's kept the chicken in our pot. Yes, it's Christmas Day, but Scrooge has done us ill. We must find a way somehow to exercise goodwill. Ah. Random acts of kindness, look on him with kindness. Can't you see a Scrooge who's simply starved for love? Your kindness is poetic. Kind and sympathetic, we got plenty of. Mr. Scrooge is a poor man, we've a good way to live. Greedy folks believe it's better to receive. We just rather give. <laughs> Random acts of kindness. He could use some kindness. I've got you to love, and all he's got's his wealth. Your goodness takes the cake, Bob. Still, for goodness sake, we'll, we'll drink this miser's To Scrooge! <laughs> I provide them with an income. And this is how they treat me. Oh, you're too good for Scrooge, Bob. But I'll drink his health for your sake. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Though with all his money, he's merry enough, I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Now clear away. Let me, Tim. You go warm up. Look familiar? Chalk dust and wood smoke. He told me coming home that he hoped the people saw him in the church because he was sick and it might be nice for them to be thankful for their health and good fortune. I am 
You am what? Uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Robinson Crusoe. Ah, oh, you see here? This is just before the pirates attack. Oh, dear, forget I said that. I don't want to ruin it for you. Oh, but it's so exciting. Yes, read on, read. A remarkable boy, but so frail. Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim will live. I see an empty seat in the chimney corner and a crutch without an owner. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No! Oh no, Spirit, say he'll be spared. Well, if he's going to die, he should do it and decrease the surplus population, right? I... I didn't mean... Next time, find out who the surplus is. Remember, Scrooge, no one is worthless or unfit to live. A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. Ooh, that looks nice. nice. God bless us. Yes, God bless us, everyone. Hear, hear. I'm so thankful to be in the bosom of my wonderful family at Christmas time. I wish I had a family to be with. Ah, but you do, you silly man. What place is this? What the house of your only living you relative. <laughs> <laughs> Nephew, friend. And then the old fellow said, What's Christmas but a time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer? <laughs> he may not, but it's true. Oh, 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 Scrooge, just listen to you. Oh, you're just so funny now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> Did your Uncle Scrooge really say that? Yes, and that Christmas was a humbug. <laughs> He's the humbug, Fred. <laughs> I want to go now. <laughs> Stay put. You like this. Uh, he's a comical old fellow, but I have nothing bad to say about him. What? Not even his stinginess? No, his wealth does him no good, so I am sorry for him, really. And so I'll invite him to celebrate Christmas every year for my sweet mother's sake. I know it's hard to believe, but she loved him dearly. I never realized how. Yes? How much he looks like Fan. And with such a big heart. Now, in honor of my mother, I want to teach you all a song that she and her brother Ebenezer used to perform when their father wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> and you must all join in. Yes, I remember this. Santa's sooty suit. Twas last Christmas Eve. I had a cause to hide beneath the stairs. I stayed awake for Santa Claus and caught him unawares. <laughs> he was coming from the fireplace, from the chimney smoky chute. And I... Never quite saw such a sight as Santa Sooty Suit. Oh, he never quite saw such a sight as Santa Sooty Suit. Scrub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub, scrub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub. Twas a ripped red velvet jacket you could tell was once a beaut of a torn and tousled trousers streaked with slushy stains to boot with the black and beaten bridges of a big and burly brute. I never dreamed I might see such a fright as Santa Sooty Suit. Never dreamed he might see such a fright as Santa Sooty Suit. Scrub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub, scrub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub. Come then, it's time for the missus. It had velocity brownish buckles and a belt of licorice root. With scruffy, fluffy ruffles, fallen in to disrepute. It was smudgy, soiled, and sullied. If somehow sort of cute. Wish I had a quid for each stain that's hid on Santa's sooty suit. Wish I had a quid for each stain that's hid on Santa's sooty suit. Scrub-a-dub-a-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-dub-d
I was near about to scoot. Then I looked up heaven, bless me at old Santa City suit. Then I looked up heaven, bless me at old Santa City suit. Come on, everybody, let's put it all together. Twas a ripped red velvet jacket, you could tell was once a beaut. Of a torn and tousled trousers, street with slushy stains to boot. With the black and beaten breeches of a big and burly boot. All the there were dots more need of suds and Santa's feet had blotchy brownish buckles and a belt of licorice root. With scruffy, fluffy ruffles fallen into disrepute. It was smudgy, soiled and sully, if somehow sort of cute. Never dreamed I might see such a fright that made that night when I looked right at Santa stinky, gray and inky, messy, mucky, icky, yucky, grungy, grubby, needs a scrubby, scrub it up a sooty suit. <laughs> Did you see me spit it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scrooge. Very merry. However, we must go now. But I was just enjoying myself. Scrooge, my stay upon this earth is very brief. It <sighs> ends this very night. Are spirits' lives so short? Farewell. Farewell, Ebenezer Scrooge. Spirit! <gasps> Spirit! Spirit! <gasps> Speak to me, Spirit. Am I correct that you are the ghost of Christmas yet to come? Will you not speak to me? Is it you who will show me shadows of the things that have not yet happened? Ghost of the future, I fear you most of all. But if your goal is to do me good, then I hope to be a better person than before. Lead on. This is the business exchange. I come here often. But where am I today? No, I don't know much about it either way. I only know he died last night. Well, the devil has got his own at last, hey? <laughs> What's he done with his money? Oh, he hasn't left it to me. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, tell me, which of our colleagues has died? It'll probably be a cheap funeral, because nobody will go to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't mind going, if a lunch is provided. Well, good day. Spirit, I don't understand the meaning of this. Who has died? under here. Silver they are. Think you'll miss them? Nah. His tea stirring days are over. <laughs> <laughs> if he wanted someone to look after his belongings after he was dead, he should have made friends when he was still breathing. I loved through where words was never spoke. You don't mean to take him with him lying there. Why not? It's not like he's gonna catch cold without him. Or without his bed curtains either. <laughs> Spirit, this is a fearful place, but I see the lesson. The fate of this unhappy man might happen to me someday, right? Oh, 
this is too harsh to bear. Let me see some tenderness connected with the death, I beseech you. It hurts my eyes. I mustn't show weak eyes to your father when he comes home. It must be near his time. Past it? I think he walks a little slower than he used to, Mother. Oh, I have known him to walk with... with Tiny Tim upon his shoulder very fast indeed. But he was very light to carry and no trouble. No trouble. Sorry I'm late. You went there to die, Robert? Yes, dear. I wish you all could have gone. You would have enjoyed seeing how green a place it is. I promised him that I would walk there on Sunday. <laughs> little boy. My little boy. <sighs> no, Spectre, no. Not, not Tiny Tim. The spirit, tell me. Can this cruel future be changed? Is this then where that wretched dead man now lies underground? Before I look closer, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be, or only the things that might be? All lives lead to certain ends, but if our lives change, then the ends must also change, right? They must! was me. Oh, no. No. Don't let me die unmourned. Spirit, listen. I am not the man I was. I've changed. I will honor Christmas in my heart and keep it all the year. I will learn from the past. I will live in the present and I will hope for the future. I will keep the three spirits in my soul and remember their lessons always. Good spirit, I'm not that man anymore. Why show me these shadows if I am past all hope? Please tell me that I can make a brighter future than this. Branded. So have you. <laughs> oh, heaven and Christmas time be praised. I say it on my knees, old Jacob. On my knees. <laughs> oh. My spoons, they're still here. The dark shadows of things that would have been are gone. I know they are. 
I heard a tale about Christmas whose truth caused my spirit to burn. My present, my past, and my future taught me I'd so much to learn. I've lived a tale of a miser who spoiled every joy that he could. Then he got older and wiser and only yearned to be good. Once my memories brought me nothing but pain. Now it's Christmas with new precious memories to gain. I'll sing a song full of wonder like snow from the heavens above. I'll share my new song of Christmas. <laughs> I've a new song of love. A Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year to the world. Hello, my fine fellow. Yes, you laugh. Wait, don't run, please. W what is it then? Do you know the poultry shop down the street? Ha! Is Snow White? An intelligent boy, a remarkable boy. Do you know whether they've sold the prize turkey that was hanging there? What, the one as big as me? <laughs> yes, my lad, that very one. Tell them to bring it here, and I'll give you a silver coin. Do you mean it? Aye, lad. Come back in less than five minutes, and I'll give you two. <laughs> Come, my faithful friend. We have much to do. Merry Christmas, gentlemen, and a Happy New Year! <sighs> oh, dear. <sighs> no! Wait! Come back! <laughs> We won't pester you for money ever again. We promise. No, no, please. I must apologize to you both for the terrible way I treated you yesterday. You are Mr. Scrooge, aren't you? Well, not that old Scrooge at any rate. Please, let me donate something to... to make up for my selfishness. Uh, well, uh, certainly. So, you'll come see me tomorrow at my office? Most certainly. But, Mr. Scrooge, why now? Because it's too late to do it when we're dead. <gasps> yes, yes, of course. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> you know, Debit, I like this feeling. Though I'm not used to all this smiling yet. Well, my dears, we may truly count our blessings. I have no idea where this magnificent bird came from, but let's eat! Here yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's eat! Let's. Let's. <gasps> Merry Christmas! Um, Merry Christmas to you. Darling, this is Mr. Scrooge's nephew, Master Fred. And my dear wife, may we come in? Oh, forgive me, of course. Please join us. We received word to meet Uncle Ebenezer here. Very urgent. Mr. Scrooge? Coming here? What have I done now? <laughs> Won't Bob Cratchit be surprised? How's this? <laughs> no, no. You must look mean as well. <laughs> Damn it! Nasty. Oh. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Ch 
Cratchit? M Mr. Scrooge? What do you mean, being here this time of day? I it's only once a year, sir. Uncle! <laughs> I am not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer. And therefore, I am about to... No, please, Mr. Scrooge. Raise your salary. Yes. <gasps> a raise? A raise! A Merry Christmas, Bob. <sighs> yes, a merrier Christmas, my good fellow, than I have given you for many a year. And starting today, I'm paying you what you deserve. Yes! I am... Um, I... I give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, just like at old Fezziwigs. And later, Fred and I will teach you Santa's sooty suit. Yes! <laughs> we will indeed. Now, let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dolly! Oh, that's it's just what I always wanted. Fred, my boy, is there enough of your mother in you to forgive an old humbug? Welcome to the family, Uncle Scrooge. Do you like it, Tim? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We're going to get you well, young man. And afterward, you can teach me to slide on the ice. Oh, yes, sir. And the doggy, oh. too. God bless us. God, God bless, bless us, us. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> and Scrooge was as good as his word. No, better. He was like a second father to Tim became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as anyone in the world. And he kept Christmas in his heart forever. <laughs>